So what if there are some apps that will provide us medical notes, all the essential standard MBBS textbooks, clinical images, clinical case scenarios, a drug index, anatomic information, eponyms, mnemonics, everything for free. Our life as a medical student would be so much great, right? So hey guys, welcome back to other interesting videos. So in this video, I'm going to share about five medical apps that I came across that every medical student should know to have an edge over their preparation. Okay, all these medical apps, okay, most of these medical apps are made in India and are destined to help especially the Indian medical students. So before getting into the video, let me introduce myself. So my name is Arish. I am completing my final MBBS in a government medical college from Tamil Nadu. So I'm not going to bore you with all this intro. So let's jump straight into the video. So the first mobile app that tops my list is Being Doctor. I don't know who created this app, but man, this app contains all the basic information that a medical student need. So let me open this app for you. So this is the front page of that app. So you can find different uh, headings, theory, practical, gems, clinical case, clinical practice and clinical images. And below that you can also find the MCQs of the days. You will get each uh, MCQ every day. So if you want free handwritten notes, just go to theory and choose the subject you want. Let me choose medicine and let me choose CNS handwritten notes. So yeah, uh, let me ch choose stroke and wait for a few seconds. And you get the handwritten notes so man I have gone through these notes they are pretty amazing man they cover all the basic and all the important topics and you can see that you know they are given diagrams and everything the handwriting is legible so man the notes are pretty amazing okay that's what I want to say so you are having notes for different uh, topics on different subjects you can see CNS endocrinology respiratory system rheumatology GI and also you can find other subjects like OG surgery etc so the next favorite thing is uh, when you go to gems there is a thing called eponyms and you can find named fascia named glands named indices named ligaments so what are these so if you give named ligaments uh, you can find layer different types of ligaments named ligaments Bertin's ligaments burns ligament and if you want to know what each ligaments are specific for so if you if you just tap on the Bertin's ligament it will show iliofemoral ligaments burns ligament yeah, falciform ligament of fascia later. Pretty great. So yeah, and there are other different things like name, nerve spaces, named tumors, and so let me choose a clinical case. Yeah, clinical case. Let me choose yeah medicine, and let me choose central nervous system. So you can get history taking, peripheral neuropathy, hemiplegia, paraplegia. Okay, these are the topics on which uh, we will present our uh, final cases on university examinations. So if you go history taking, you will get a case performer. I think yeah. A CNS case performer. Okay, what are the history that you you need to ask? What are the examination that you need to do? And if you uh, choose hemiplegia, you will get a sample cases of hemiplegia. Okay, this will give us a orientation of how each case will be. Okay, how we have to present each cases. It's great. And so if you go to uh, clinical images, this is another interesting thing. If you go to clinical images, let me choose ENT and let me choose diseases of ear. So we can find different amount of clinical images man yeah okay let me choose i think this is in pericondritis so let me click on this yeah pericondritis and along with it you will get essential key features of that disease okay it is an infection with tissue covering the cartilage of the external part of the ear called a pinna yeah i think there are there are lots of other things uh, available in this app uh, okay i can't explain everything but believe me it's a great app okay this is the must having app for every medical student out there so i will provide the link in the description so you go and install and explore it all for yourself so the second mobile app in my list is called medicos pdf so being a medical student we can't completely rely on a single textbook for studying a single subject okay we need a reference book we need a standard book to get a clear concept on each topics but being a student we can't afford to buy all the medical textbook available in the market but yeah you can find certain medical ebooks through lots of websites available in the internet but what if there are some apps that provide you all the essential textbook for free so this app medicos video is all about free mbs textbooks and you know mbs articles and powerpoint slides so this is the front page of that app called Medicos PDF. You can find uh, their slides, books, news, journals and articles. Okay, we are going to focus only on the books and you can see there are 20,000 medical books. 
I don't know if it's true so yeah let's click on the books and you can get clinical science and basic science so if someone asks you what are the books that you know for surgery we you say okay, Bailey, Manipal and some say DOS and SRB but let me check what are the books that are available in the surgery category so let me go to all books and clinical science and let me go to yeah surgery man see there are lots of textbooks for a single surgery subject uh, surgical therapy essential surgical practice fundamentals of general surgery Yo, there are lots and lots of books and you can also find manipal srb uh, uh, a bailey dos everything okay so if you want to read a particular book or download a particular book just click on that book and you below that you find a drive link right just click on that and you can view that file in a google drive and you can download it if you want and you can find lots of other books for other different subjects too There you can find subjects for like pediatrics orthopedics ophthalmology nephrology neurology there are other essential medical books and interestingly they are also providing free medical notes which is in a typed up version so let me go to the same reason uh, uh, okay neurology uh, let me choose vascular diseases and let me choose yeah the same stroke and you can find the notes for stroke these are in a simplified manner and they are in a typed up manner uh, it's great investigations differential diagnosis risk factors yeah they almost cover everything man they almost cover everything so this is great and you also you can find free slide on different subject because this is similar to slide chat app where you can find powerpoint slide on various medical topics right so this is similar to that yeah this is great so i will provide the link in the description so go and download it and explore it all by yourself she looks too pretty try to catch her did anybody remember this okay, almost everyone of us remember this okay this is the first mnemonic that every medical student would have learned during a first year med school okay this is the mnemonic of cortical bones sometimes i take this mnemonic as my relationship advice <laughs> okay yeah being a medical student uh, we used to learn lots of information through mnemonics and sometimes we find it difficult to form our own mnemonics for certain topics or certain information sometimes we spend lots of our time for making mnemonics so to prevent you from all this the third app in my list is called all medical mnemonics so let me open that app so yeah this is the front page of that app and you can find different subjects over there and you can find mnemonics on each subject so mm, let me go to mm, physiology and um, yeah endocrine so yeah there are mnemonics like adrenal gland functions ACTH okay great adrenal gland layers and products get your facts right men are glued to their glands get your facts right men are glued to their gonads <laughs> okay this is a great new one man <laughs> get your facts right men are glued to their gonads glomerulus of acicular reticularis yeah see they have given an alternate on mnemonic get all fat chicks right away Hypothyroidism, yeah, you can find mnemonic as in thyroidism, tremor, arteriality. Yeah, this is great. So yeah, uh, similar to that, there are different mnemonics available for different subjects. And surely I have gone through this or uh, most of these mnemonics. They are pretty great. Okay, they are pretty amazing. So if you are studying a particular subject and if you want mnemonic for a particular topic, just go and search in those things. And if you want some other extra app, uh, there is another app called Complete MBBS Mnemonic, and that also pretty amazing. So as usual, the links are provided in the description box. So if she is really pretty, try to catch her man. There is no wrong in that. <laughs> so the fourth app in my list is Teach Me Anatomy. So if you are a first year medical student, okay, sorry, if you are a medical student, then anatomy is very, very important. You have to learn and read anatomy till your death. But every time we can't go back to Grace Anatomy or Chaurasia to get your particular anatomical information. Yeah, you can Google it, but what if there are some app that will provide every anatomy information in a much cleaner and a categorized and a organized way. So, such app is Teach Me Anatomy. So, let me open that app. So, 
so this is the first page of that app you can see browse by region question bank so if you go give browse by region they divided the entire anatomy into each section like basics head neuro anatomy so if you go to basics you can find you know joints tissue embryology everything so let me go to upper limb so there are 45 topics and they segregate the entire upper limb into anatomical areas bones muscles nerves okay this is great man so let me if i want to read nerves okay let me read now and so if you give nerves of the upper limb you can find median nerve muscular teres nerve axillary nerve so let me give median nerve and this is the article of the median nerve where you will find all the essential information about the median nerve you can find the nerve roots motor function and sensory functions the course of the median nerve and especially the clinical anatomy for each nerve this is very important man if you read anatomy you must know clinical anatomy for each anatomical structures yeah this is pretty great and below that you can see images where you can find all the related images of that median nerve yeah this is a cutaneous supply and this is anatomical course everything and you can also attend quiz for each topic but there is another option called 3d body uh, which you have to pay okay other than that okay everything is free i think so if you want to let me go to other topic uh, let me go to lower limb and let, if you give muscles of the lower limb yeah they have segregated muscles of the thigh muscles of the leg muscles of the foot if you go to muscles of the leg and um, let me go to anti compartment of the leg yeah you can find tibialis anterior for each muscle uh, they will provide information on its attachment actions innervation Okay, this is so much handy you know uh, every time as I said okay if you are a final medical student or if you are an intern and if you want to read about particular anatomy you can't go back to uh, your textbooks right okay this will be handy this app will be handy and this will help us to get anatomic information in a quicker and in a handy way okay the fifth app in my list is called daily rounds okay this app is more like a community forum where there are lots of people who will post different cases and they will discuss on each cases and they also provide you drug index and other things so let me open that app so yeah this is the front page of the app you can find different cases on cardiovascular system and respiratory system everything and you can find the discussion below on each cases okay let's say this is a sample case and there is a discussion uh, below that and the next one is drug index so yeah they have given various drugs and various drug categories you know drugs acting on cardiovascular system drugs acting on autonomic nervous system so if you give drugs acting on autonomic nervous system they will provide each subclassification adrenergic drug anticholinergic drug so if you bron if you want to see about bronchodilators on adrenergic drug yeah they provide you each drug's name and if you click each drug you will get information on both that drug okay what is the dosage what are the pediatric dosage pregnancy mode of action adverse drug reactions interactions contradiction warning everything on single drug this would be very much useful if you are an intern and if you are a secondary medical student studying pharmacology but the most interesting thing is not this one there's another thing called ecg they will provide you all the must know information for various clinical diseases okay this is the ecg and you can find normal ecg leads and placement placement sinus and bradyarrhythmia the most interesting thing is that okay if you want to read about let me go to yeah, first degree AV block. If you go to first degree AV block, they will provide you the ECG features of that AV block and they will give you the ECG image of that thing and the etiology of that thing. We are having a separate topic on medicine on ECGs on arrhythmias, and this app will be very much helpful for us to learn these topics in a simple way. So, let me go to another thing. Uh, let me go to six sinus syndrome. If you go to six sinus syndrome, yeah, you can find the etiology of six sinus syndrome, the ECG findings, and how the ECG looks like. So this is great, right? So that's all about this app. Okay, so these are the apps that I came across as a medical student, and I have been using these apps for past one years. And most of the times, these app, you know, just act as a lifesaver for me. So I thought that every medical student should also know about this app. That's why I uh, made this video. So if you really, really love this content, then please subscribe to this channel and please give me thumbs up for YouTube algorithm to recommend this video to lots of other medical students like you. So thanks for watching and signing off. Until next time.